Over here, I have this little model, and I see the, the openings I already did over here. Uh, it looks more scale. As a matter of fact, I'm going to continue doing all these little uh, details here. You see? Um, I just, I imagine this plane flying already. happening over here today okay um, I noticed this model was doing a weird noise and uh, on and off so I took it apart and look the motors broken anyways thanks God the plane came with two motors extra motors and I just replaced it look it's a brand new motor. I put it here. I even inside of this here for the power. And um, now I'm ready to bring it in and, and connect it. If you see, those are the old gear motors. Yeah, it says six volt, and these are the new ones. It says 12 volt. So I'll oh. put 12 volts in instead of 6. And it's the same exact... Look, uh, the same exact motor. But one say 6 volt, the other one is 12 volt. Yeah, go with the 12 volt. Yeah, I'm using like, you know, three cells, which is 11.1. Yes. Yeah, 11 like that. So I'm going to put new motors, 12 volt. Beautiful. Yeah. Something at the field that you have to uh, know the system, how to fix it and everything. You know? Yeah, it's important. You it's important to know. Repair. You, you know how the system works. Yeah, well. exactly. You place the servos. Yeah. Uh, this one is for uh, the switch on and off for the uh, um, the jack screw. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I replace the servo here. This is for to turn the wheels. Oh, that's for the, the air, the air the, cylinder. The air cylinder. It turns the, the whole landing gear. So I replaced the servo because um, there was a Futaba um, a regular servo, an analog servo. So I replaced it for a digital servo. So you've been fooling around with, with this radio a little bit just to get things working with servos? Yeah, just for now. For now. I'm, work, I'm using a Futaba uh, 7 channel. Yeah, is, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this part is the left side uh, part of the landing gear. You can see the two doors. I took it off. Uh, it was a very nice uh, way that they did it uh, because you can remove the screws. You can see. So and these are the doors for the landing gear. So I've been watching some videos over the internet, and I see this part is very plain. It doesn't have any, you know, actual, you know, detail. So I create some little details, and that way this piece is gonna look more realistic. So I got the pieces here. 
you're going to see the difference between like this and the way I'm going to dress up this thing. First of all, the real one has some kind of um, uh, doors that goes right here. Because this um, part is curved and the landing gear actuator goes out, out of the plane. That's why they have these doors. When the landing gear goes in, this thing opens. But I gonna I made these parts only to to dress up these um, uh, sides of the landing gear, you know. So yeah, to add a scale look to exactly. it. Exactly, that's what I wanted to do. So also here um, the hinges. I want to put some covers, and that way I can remove this thing very easy in case I need to remove the hinges. So it's going to be like this, with screws around. The reason why I did this opening here with so those covers is because for for any reason the landing gear elbows goes out and then the door doesn't close properly so that's why i made this open so you're going to see why right so these covers on the real one aren't here yeah but you did it as a semi-scale to semi -scale, help scale yeah to help hide with the demonstration exactly. that we're but going these, to see. these yeah. two right. yes yes okay let's see yeah so let me Part of the landing gear even happens in the real one right here. That's why they made this open. But for any reason, in here I'm gonna to have to do the same thing. So in order for me to uh, cover that, I need another piece to cover this up. You see? And that way the, the doors are gonna close properly. You see? So yeah, I even noticed here on the back of the plane, they added a little piece of uh, extra length or, or detail to um, assist with that gear door having to have to come out further because it's, it's not here on this side. Yeah. So right now we're uh, checking yeah. for a leak. Uh, all these hoses need to be replaced because uh, it's been 20 years and um, one of the hoses just uh, explode right here. It popped, did it, it pop, pop off it or pop, did, it, did it break in the it, center of the hose? Uh, no, it popped from the uh, T-fitting. Okay. So what I'm going to do is definitely I need to replace all of them. Yeah, I think yeah. It's, it's, it's good to do it because uh, we need safety in the plane, and it's the only way we can do some safety here, you know. Sure. Yeah. Let's see here, make sure we got the... I'm telling you, it's always a surprise here. So that's why I need to... So let, let's see, what, is, what exactly uh, did you just find out? Well, I find out, you know, um, when they built the plane, they did the, the doors that goes here. Look at my palm, you yeah. know, like this. But now they don't have it. Um, I see some hoses, you know, with a loop. So obviously I have a lot of leak here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the hoses, yeah. put in new hoses, 
and then everything's going to be flawless, no leaks around. Yeah, because right here you can see the knot. Yeah. yeah. This here you're losing a lot of air. Yeah. And it's teed off into other areas. Yeah. Look, right here. Yeah. I just cut it, so that you have it, it defeating. So obviously the air is going to go out. Yeah. So all right. So we have a little more work to do between getting the airlines redone and figuring out the delay in the servos and the exactly. radio work. Uh, exactly. There's definitely some yeah. mm -hmm. uh, um, some mechanical and some uh, figuring out to do a radio work. So mm -hmm. I think that would uh, we'll end the video with this session. Yeah. And um, okay, we'll get all this straightened out. We'll make another new video. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Hola Mario. 